How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Master Beer Reviews, back with Beer Mail. Beer Mail. How about that? Beer in the mail. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, yeah. Came home today. I was traveling all weekend. Totally forgot about this. Um, but came home, and the future wife was like, hey, you got a box of beer in the fridge. And I was like, what? And then I was like, oh, I totally forgot to write this person back. It's from... Um, Jim, he's from down, where is it again, Newport, North Carolina area. He wrote me not too long ago, and he's like, hey man, love the channel. like to let you know what the old North Carolinas has to offer beer-wise from where he's around. And he said, hey man, send you off a box. I was like, that's awesome, you can send it here, went back a little bit, and then he sent it off. And I didn't respond to him until today. So, sorry dude, but I was traveling all weekend, it was kind of hard. So. Anyway beer. Let's dive into this sucker. I have no idea what's in here, actually. No idea whatsoever. All they know is it's heavy, so there's some beer in here. And, uh, yeah. I don't know what else to say. Sent by the good old service most people don't use, but we'll not speak of that, and we will just take these out. We have, oh, holy shit, dude. Good God. Um, there's a lot of beer in here. Man, see, this is the stuff I'm talking about. People go... I love when people go crazy packing beers. But I've had beers that have been, like, packed, like, insanely good break. And I'm not pooping on gym style here. But these are just some bubble wrap. And that's it. There's no more room in this sucker. That is densely packed. Usually, these are the ones that never break, but every nobody wants to pack them like these. They kind of want to get, like, super extra padding and do all the other things. And there's bottles in here. There's, there's bottles sitting right up against the wall and stuff like that. You usually think it's just going to break in that. Break and stuff, but it's not. There you go. Let's dive into these. Give the bottles first. And what do we have here? We have Jade IPA. I've heard of this. I may have had this at a share or something like that. Uh, brewed and bottled by Foothills Brewing Company. I've definitely heard of Foothills, but I don't remember. I definitely didn't review it, but I remember actually like either having that or seeing that somewhere else before. So, maybe wise it's cool. You know, there's a girl on there doing stuff. Looking sultry. Number two, we have Highland Brewing Company. It's their Black Mocha Stout. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Asheville, North Carolina. Nice. Uh, just a wee bit different, so I assume it says a mocha sour. Just a wee bit different. Mm, that's probably a moniker for the brewery. Highland's Most Robust Beer is a biggest award winner. Um, I actually didn't read that one. I'm going to skip that. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Relish in a very malty body with rich toast and bitter chocolate flavors. Expertly drawn from dark roasted barley. Black in color. Clean, crisp, moderate hot flavor. 5%. Yeah. Let's see. Relatively fresh. So black mocha stout from a, a Scottish leaning brewery. The Jade one I didn't read. I'll read it real quick. It is uh, Exotic Jewelry Orient. Now a gem of IPA. Bold citrus, citrus Pacific Jade Hops. I assume that much. Uh, a little bit of Chinook in there. A little bit of Citra. Specialty beer. 7.4%. Done and done. Bottles. Let's see. I love getting the bottles, man. Hop. Hoppy mum. Hop, hopping them, hop, hoppy yum, hoppy yum. I'm bad at stuff sometimes. This is another Foothills Jam. This is their recipe: it's simple. Take some hoppy, add some yum, nutty malts, and surprising sweet bases, copious and tangerine Simcoe hops. Great aroma and finish. This will show you why this is the most popular beer. Done, done. Hops, labels. I eat. label on this one. Didn't talk about. It's got a little bagpiper on there. Who doesn't like bagpipers? Bagpipers at my mom's funeral. It was weird to kind of bring that up, but, you know, whatever. I'm weird. Like you guys didn't know that. Ooh, another Highland. So I get two from each brew, which is kind of cool. You get these single jams, and you, you don't get a good kind of idea of a brewery. So it's cool to go in here. This is their Gaelic Ale. Um... It's a wee bit different, so yeah, it's definitely just kind of a catchphrase. Uh, this is our flagship beer, sexually balanced American Amber Ale, Cascade and Limit Hops. Um, and caramel sweetness, 5.5% alcohol by volume. Nice. 
Old school jams. I can get down with that. Old school jammers. Let's see. Cans of plenty we have here. Mystery Brewery. Hmm, Rye Farmhouse Ale. Let me some rye. 8.1. Ooh, she'd be a sipper. Um, I don't think there's story time on here. It's just a Saison. So it's a rye Saison. Maybe why is that right? It doesn't blow me away. It's a girl weeping in the corner. What are you going to do? Okay. Next up we have Triple C. I've heard of Triple C. I've never had anything from them, but I've always wanted to try something. Something was leaking. I don't know if this is leaking or is this condensation. It didn't smell like it was leaking. Uh, let's see. Know Your Craft. This is uh, 2015 G GABF. American Style Strong Pale Ale. 6.2%. No story time. But yeah, I've heard of these guys before. I don't know how. Um, it might be just social media. But yeah, I've always wanted to try something from them. So there you go. Now this beer I've had before. But I didn't reveal it, so it'll be fun enough to kind of dive into it. Come on. And that is your Noda, and that's your Coco Loco Porter. Um, my old radio show um, that I used to do, we actually had Noda on there. And I, they, I think either they sent the Coco Loco, it was one of the beers I had right before the show that was kind of impetus for having them on the show. So definitely had that one before, but it's cool to be able to review it. And then we have Aviator Brewing. It is their Hog Wild India Pale Ale. See there? Kind of looks like one of those... Um, Hogs from like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, and it's a golden pale ale made with a pale ale and Vienna malts. Hog Wild is venerable. I put your words today, man. Venerable. <laughs> Fest of hops. Beer is designed to let the hops shine through. The flavor is not hidden with sweet malts. Hog Wild is brewed with Chinook, Columbus, Cascade, and dry hops with Magnum and Willamette. Hoppy and refreshing ale. Do, 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 do. They said the ABV 6.7. So there you go. A bit of North Carolina cans and bottles. Look at that. Perfect. Four and four. I like the neurotic symmetry to all that. So thank you very much, Jim, for sending these off. Super appreciative. I love getting the bottles. It just something about it kind of takes me, kind of makes me all hot and bothered and kind of a little bit fluttery inside. Uh, that and I'm going to let you in on a little bit of a preconceived notion. These seem like either breweries that have been around for a while. Or they're breweries that are taking a different take. Or taking a different angle. I almost missed one beer. There's another one here, by the way. Taking a different angle. So now it's not going to be 4 and 4. And my brain is going to be whatever. But taking a little bit of a different kind of take on the beer world. Um, they're not... These are not super hazy, crazy IPAs. And they're not, you know, adjunct-laden Imperial Stouts. Uh, so to actually see... You know what I mean? To get to taste these things, because that's what a lot of people send. They send these kind of very on um, the kind of hipster pulse kind of beers. It's cool to get this stuff. I'm really excited. And the last one, I almost skipped a brewery I actually love, but I haven't had anything from for a while. It's Birdsong Brewing. It's their Jalapeno Pale Ale. I have not had anything from Birdsong in a super long time, but I dig the brewery, and I like what they do. So, so there you go. That's definitely all of them. So thank you very much, Jim, for sending them off. It's going to be super interesting to get through all of them. It's going to take me a bit, but such is life. But I appreciate the little uh, little not-so-little box of beer. I appreciate the uh, time you guys took to watch me unwrap these and kind of butcher everything about it. But at the same time, you got an unboxing. So what do you want? And uh, there you go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the unboxing. Hopefully you enjoy me reviewing all these suckers. And hope we'll see you next time. Cheers.